All right, here we go. Boss Armor AR 4000D. One ohm certified up to 1% THD. All right, guys, so here's the amp listed on Amazon. You can see all we see is max power listed, and there's no RMS numbers but it's around $85 or so at the time of this posting. So I decided I had to get one and try for you guys. Now what was funny is after I ordered it, check this out, package was left inside the resident's mailbox. I'm like, no way. Uh, yeah, it actually does fit in a standard mailbox. A 4K amp fitting in a mailbox? Hmm, let's check this out. All right, here we have the Boss AR4000D, the only 4K amplifier I'm aware of that'll fit in a mailbox. So let's open this bad boy up and see what she's all about. Ooh. All right, manual, got a sticker. Yep, we're gonna be pimping out on the car, I can guarantee that. Uh, we'll check out the manual here in just a minute. There's a linking, looks like a phone jack, but it links amplifiers together, I guess. Let's take it out. Oh, okay, so in here is probably the base knob. That's the cable. And some fuses. Looks like the base knob is on the other side. Okay. All right, let's take this joker out of the plastic and see what it's about. Boss armor. You can see my hand. <laughs> Amp is not very big. There is the 4,000 watts. Yeah, I don't believe that. All right, here you see we got quite a bit going on. Sensitivity control, level control, subsonic filter, master slave switch. And then there we have the link connection between two amps, I guess, if we want to strap them together. There's inputs and outputs, low pass filter, subwoofer level control, bass boost, phase selector, and a couple power LEDs, one for power, one for protection. All right, on the other side, we have the speaker connections, uh, which use these hateful spade connectors. Seriously? Oh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, three 40 amp fuses, that's 120 amps, those of you who are mathematically challenged. And there is the power connection again. Looks like we may have to use spade connectors, so we might have to go four gauge. I don't think we can fit zero gauge. We don't have zero gauge spade connectors. So on the bottom of the amp, it has some instructions for you here about how to hook it up. Doesn't really say anything about strapping, and I assume that's in the manual. So let's check the manual out next and see what the actual ratings of this amp are. All right, so here's some of the goodies that come with it. You can see the limited warranty. All that good stuff. Uh, like us on Facebook, share your system, win prizes, thank you, satisfaction guaranteed. There's the boss sticker. And here's the manual. And I was afraid of this. The best thing it says is max power. So max power at two ohms, 2000 by one, max power at one ohm, 4000 by one. No mention anywhere of RMS power. So we're pretty smart and we can calculate that uh, three 40 amp fuses is 120 amps. 120 amps times 15 volts. All right, so best case scenario, 15 volts times 120 amps, 1800 watts is the most we could get 
continuous before we pop these fuses now. Uh, and of course that's assuming 100% efficiency and pretty sure we're nowhere near 100%, maybe 80, 85%. So I don't know, what do you think? That's 15 volts, so we'll be around 14, probably 14.4 when we test. So what do you guys think it'll do? Leave a comment before you watch the rest of the video. Yeah, right, you guys are gonna cheat. It's not gonna get anywhere near 4,000 watts, but um, that's what we got a good old dyno for. I'm gonna have to be honest and say the amp design is really slick. I like the look of it. Um, this feels like aluminum. I don't think it's plastic. Shiny aluminum. It's, it's definitely a unique design on the heat sink. Boss logo right there. Got some chrome going on. Class D mono block power amplifier. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm impressed with, with the look and the, the build quality. We'll check out the guts. But first, let's try it on the dyno. I know that's what y'all want to see. Yep, let's do it. Certified at 2 ohms up to 1% THD, 40 hertz. Seven hundred and ten watts at fourteen volts. Pulled seventy three point six amps. All right now we'll do a dynamic burst at two ohms. See what we get. Nine hundred and sixty nine watts. 2 ohms, 14.2 volts. All right, here we go. Boss Armor AR4000D. One ohm, certified up to 1% THD. We don't have a RMS rating of this amp. It just says it does 4,000 watts max. We know it doesn't get anywhere near that, but let's see what it does. All right, 908 watts, 13.8 volts. So a little under 14 volts. And we pulled 111.9, almost 112 amps. So there you go, 900 watt amp. All right, now we'll try the boss at one ohm uncertified. This will take us up to clipping. See what we get. Hopefully we don't pop the fuses. Okay, 1175 watts, 13.5 volts. Now let's see what kind of current we pulled. Oh, we didn't have it set to max min, big dummy. You big dummy. Pulled 138.6, almost 140 amps. All right, now we'll try one ohm. This is the dynamic burst track, 40 Hertz. Up to clipping, let's see what it does. Fourteen hundred and twenty-five watts, one ohm, thirteen point seven volts, and I had this in the inrush mode, which should capture a pretty good idea of the current. Around one hundred and sixty-one amps at uh, the peaks. Right, let's crank up a base clip. All right, guys, been playing around some of the Boss 4K, hooked up to a 4-ohm sub, and I tell you, I, I was just, I was prepared to be disappointed. I really was. Um, but I gotta say, man, for around 100 bucks, if you're just getting started in car audio, 100 bucks can give you some thump. I mean, it was really pushing that 12 pretty good, not to its maximum, but 
I mean, that's only at four ohms, so yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Like I said, I really thought I was going to be able to bash this amp. Wasn't planning on bashing it, don't get me wrong, but I just had very low expectations for it. And I got to say, for around $100, I, I, I just, seems like a good deal to me. All right, so here are the amp dyno tests. You can go ahead and pause the video now if you like to see everything. I tested four ohms, two ohms, and one ohm. And I cheated a little bit there. If you look on the right, you can see 0.8 dynamic. That'll come up at the end of the video if you stay tuned. Um, so I also took the amplifier apart. This is a little bit more difficult than most amps to show the guts because you had to take off both side plates and there's several screws, uh, hex type screws holding each end plate in. So once you take those out, you can get to all the screws on the bottom plate and take it apart, take it off. And then you can see the guts here. And, and again, um, I was expecting to see, you know, kind of cheap, cheesy parts and stuff. And it just looks like it's well engineered. It's well laid out. Uh, the capacitors are some cheap brand I've never seen before, probably Chinese, I'm sure. But again, the amp is around a hundred bucks. So you can't really expect the best quality parts by any means. But um, there you go, the Yos, Yos, Yoscon, Yoscon, never really heard of those, but um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, it looks okay, so there you have it, the test of the Boss AR4000D. Thanks as always to everyone who supports my videos, got a little treat for you here at the very end, so stay tuned. Alright, just because I knew you guys would ask, Boss AR4000D, let's try 0.8 dynamic, 40 hertz. All right, as you can see by the light there, it was going in and out of protect. So we're not even gonna try it at 0.5 or 0.67. 1660 watts is the most RMS watts I can get out of this using the dynamic burst test. So not a 4K amp. Uh, actually did a little better than I thought it would though. Um, but still, wish they would just put on the box what it is. You can get these for around $100, sometimes a little less depending on Amazon and eBay and what other prices are going for, but seems to be a pretty decent deal for the price. But um, yeah, I'm still not happy with how they do things like this.